Hello, my name is Christina and today we will be doing a 30 minute yoga stretch. We will practice a couple of sun A's, um, moving through a sun salutation, but we will be taking it easy, nice and slow. Um, we can always use a block if you'd like to, so if you want to get that ready, um, feel free to go grab a block. Um, otherwise, we are going to start in a child's pose today, so go ahead and get ready in your child's pose, bringing the knees out to the edge of your mat, letting your bottom rest on your mat and extending those hands nice and long in front of you. As you're here in your child's pose, just coming to your breath, letting the hips sink down with each exhale. Maybe reaching the fingertips a little bit farther. Letting your head rest on the mat, maybe massaging your head from side to side. And then starting to deepen the breath. Filling up in the lungs and the belly. Emptying completely. Inhale, filling up. Letting the belly expand on your inhales. And then noticing the contraction on the exhales. On your next inhale, reaching the fingertips a little bit farther. And then exhale, walk both hands over to the right side of your mat. Letting the left hand come on top of the right. Letting the left hip come over towards the left side. If you'd like to deepen that stretch a little bit, you can bring that right hand back by the right knee. Maybe bring your hips over a little bit more to the left side if that feels good. And staying here with the breath, creating that space on the left side body. Staying with the breath. Inhale, both hands back to center. Exhale, walk those hands over to the left side. You can let that left hand stay underneath the right or bringing that left hand back by the left knee. You can shift those hips over to the right side to create a little bit more depth in the side body. Letting each breath fill up and expand the space between the ribs. Staying with the breath here. Inhaling both hands back to center. One more breath here in your child's pose. Inhaling to tabletop. So come to your first tabletop, bringing those knees underneath the hips. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. Flatten through the core, nice flat back. Gaze is down at the mat. We're gonna extend our left leg straight behind us and just bring a nice little push onto the left toes, creating a little stretch on that left calf. Taking a breath here, and then inhaling that left leg up, and on your exhale, bringing it over off the right side of your mat, and then bring that gaze over the right shoulder and looking at your left foot. Staying nice and lifted through the hands and the shoulders. One more breath here. 
Inhale, back to center. Lower the left knee down. Extend the right leg behind you, pushing the right foot, the toes, and the mat. Creating a little calf stretch here on the right side. And then inhaling that right leg up. On your exhale, bringing those right toes over off the left side of the mat. And then bringing the gaze over the left shoulder towards the toes. Again, staying nice and tall and lifted in the arms. Staying here for one more breath. Inhale everything back to center. Lower that right knee down. Inhale, cow pose. Roll those shoulders back, drop the belly. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Two more rounds on your own. Taking any other movements that you need here. Meeting in our tabletop. We're gonna gently come all the way down onto our belly. Preparing for broken wing. We're gonna extend that right arm out long. Tops of the feet should be on the mat. We're gonna bend that left knee. I'm gonna keep my head, forehead towards the mat or on the mat. I'm gonna gently roll over onto my right side. My right, left foot is behind my right knee. My hand can stay on the mat here. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, you can inhale that left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it, in, bring it to your back or maybe the floor behind you if that's accessible. And just feeling the opening in the right shoulder. Staying with the breath. when you're ready. If the hand is behind you, inhale it up towards the ceiling. Exhale, let it come down to the mat. Gently roll back onto the belly. Taking a pause here. And then bringing that right hand by the right shoulder, extending the left hand out this time, bending the right knee, letting the left ear come towards the mat, and then gently rolling over onto that left side. My right foot is behind my left knee. Your right hand can stay on the mat, or you can inhale it up towards the ceiling. Exhale it down to your back, or maybe the floor behind you, whatever's accessible here. Letting that head, the left temple, rest on the mat. Feeling the opening in the left shoulder. While you're here, just notice if you have any tension in your forehead or jaw. Let that tension go. One more breath here. If your hand is not on the mat, inhale that right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring it down to the mat. Gently roll back onto your stomach. Staying here for one breath. Bringing that left hand in, and just very gently coming to your tabletop. So bring, walk those knees in, find your tabletop here. Moving through two rounds of cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward dog. 
maybe paddling out the feet here. Taking any stretches that you need. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk those feet up just gently and slowly, binding your forward fold. So we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Let's really find your depth here in your forward fold. Let that head hang. Hands can stay on the mat, or you can grab an opposite elbow. You might wanna walk over to one side with your hands and then gently walk over to the other side. If you need a little opening across the shoulders and chest, you can interlace the fingers behind your back. So whatever you need here in your forward fold, take that. Do what feels good to your body. Staying here for one more breath. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, gently and slowly, rolling all the way up to your tabletop. I'm sorry, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'd invite you to close your eyes here, here if that feels safe. And my intention for you and this practice is just to take your time. Take what your body needs. Do what feels good. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're gonna step back to plank. Lower the knees down. Lower the hips and chest, coming all the way down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, squeeze the shoulders together. Push the tops of the feet into the mat, lift the knees. Exhale, lower the chin down. Inhale, baby cobra again. Exhale, chin down. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. Taking it nice and slow. Pedal out those feet again. Taking any movements you need here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, gently walk those feet up. Coming to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling all the way up to mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step the feet back to plank. Lower the knees down. Lower the hips and chest. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, chin down. Inhale, high cobra, if that feels good. Staying here for a breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, bring the knees down to the mat. Coming back into your tabletop. So square the shoulders and the hips. Coming in to thread the needle. Inhale, the right arm up high. Maybe bring some wrist circles one way and the other. And some arm circles one way and then the other. And on your exhale, thread that right hand behind the left wrist. Left hand can stay by the face. You can reach it forward if that feels okay. So taking whatever depth you need here. 
and thread the needle. Let that head rest on the mat. Wherever you are, bringing that left hand back in front of your face. Inhale that right arm up to the ceiling, taking any other movements that you need here. Exhale, bring it down to the mat. Square up those shoulders. Inhale that left arm high. Bringing some wrist circles and some arm circles in one direction and then the other. And on your next exhale, thread that left wrist behind the right. Right hand can stay in front of your face here or you can extend it out if that feels okay. again on the left side moving one direction and then the other and then when you're ready bringing that left hand down so we're back in our tabletop position we're going to come into a seated pose so just gently coming back onto a seated so finding a comfortable seated position and then we're gonna uncross the legs and cross them the other way, the way that maybe doesn't feel quite as natural. Sitting up nice and tall, extending through the crown, planting the hands on the side. We're gonna inhale our arms up. Exhale, we're gonna bring our left hand to our left knee. Right hand is gonna come behind us for a twist. Inhale, filling up, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, maybe you twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, twist to your depth. So finding your depth in the pose. And then staying here for a few breaths. Staying nice and lifted from the hips all the way through the crown. And when you're ready, inhale, both arms back up to center. Exhale, right hand comes to the left knee. Left hand comes behind the back. Sitting nice and tall through the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more inhale, lengthening through the crown. Exhale, twist to your depth. So finding your depth in the twist here. Staying with the breath, staying nice and tall through the spine. Inhaling back to center, reaching the arms up. Exhale, hands down, and then coming forward on your mat. I'm going to turn to the side here, coming all the way down onto your back. We're going to come into a reclined pigeon here. So we're going to bring our right ankle over our left knee. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the left knee and then just pulling that left leg in towards the chest to find the stretch you need on your right hip. Keeping those feet flexed. And just breathing down. Again, helping to create some space there.
On your next exhale, release the left foot back down to the mat. Bring the right foot down, this time bringing the left ankle on top of the right knee. Interlace those fingers behind the right knee. And again, pulling that knee in just enough so you feel that stretch on the left hip. Keeping the feet flexed here. You can always use that left elbow to push open that left knee if you need a deeper stretch. And then just finding some stillness here. Coming to your breath. And on your next exhale, bringing that right foot down to the mat and the left. And then hugging both knees into the chest. So hugging both knees in. Rocking gently from side to side. And then we're going to plant both feet down on the mat. I'm going to cross my right foot over my left Gently, I'm gonna swing my hips over a little bit and then coming to a twist here. So just a little bit deeper twist. If this does not feel good, you can come into a, just a regular supine twist. Gaze can be up at the ceiling or over the right shoulder. Again, using your breath to create space and length in the back body. Inhale, back up to center. And then bringing that left leg over the right. Again, I like to shift my hips over a little bit before I come into my twist. Extending that left arm out long. Gaze can stay up at the ceiling or looking over the left shoulder if that feels good. Just using your breath. Create that space in the twist. And always, if it feels at any time starts to bother you, come out of the pose. You can always close your eyes in the twist. Taking whatever else you need here. And on your next inhale, bringing both knees back to center. We're gonna hug both knees in. Gently rock side to side. And then we're gonna grab on to either the outsides of your feet. You can grab onto your big toes with your peace fingers. We're gonna come into a happy baby. Keeping our shoulders and our tailbone down on the mat. You can stay right here. You can gently rock from side to side. If it feels safe, you can extend one leg long and then the other. You can extend both legs out long if that feels okay. Again, focusing on trying to keep that tailbone down on the mat. And then when you're ready, finding some stillness in your happy baby. Using your breath again to create that space actively keeping that tailbone down on the mat and the shoulders melts it into your mat. And then hugging both knees into the chest one last time. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, forehead towards the knees, coming into a supine ball. 
Inhale, lengthening, extending out long for your Shavasana. So letting your feet extend out long and your hands come out. Let your feet fall heavy to the sides of your mat. So as you're coming into your Shavasana, focusing on letting each muscle relax and come into contact with your mat. Letting your eyes close. Maybe you use an eye pillow. Letting your head come heavy. Letting your shoulders and your back relax into the mat. Letting your hands and arms become one with your mat. Letting your hips rest and relax into your mat. Letting your thighs and your shins come into the mat, melting closer to the ground. The feet fall heavy. Letting your breath slow down. Not forcing your breath to be anything. Letting it come back to its normal pattern. Maybe you let your tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. Taking this time for stillness. Begin to bring some movement back into your body. Letting your head fall from one side to the other. Bring some movement into your hands, your wrists, your feet, ankles. Hugging your knees into your chest. Giving yourself one last big hug. Gently rolling over onto your left or right side. Taking a moment here to find some gratitude in whatever that may be. And when you're ready, coming to a seated position on your mat, letting your eyes be heavy or closed, resting your hands on the side of your mat or on your knees. Inhale, reaching the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thanking yourself for being here today. Inhale, your thumbs to your third eye. Thanking yourself for being smart and listening to what your body needed. 
Inhale, filling up. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a little relaxation in our 30-minute class and that you got some good stretching in. Have a great rest of your day.